So welcome to module 2.1. Before proceeding to this module, I hope that you have done the project 1 uh, which was suggested uh, at the end of module 1. So this module will become very meaningful if you had completed that project because it assumes a lot of things that you, have, you should have done in that project. Knowledge of that would make this module very easy. So if you have not done this project, before you view this video, please go and finish that project to hardly take uh, 1 to 2 hours max. Okay, so what we will do in this module 2.1 is first we will talk about in this particular thing we will talk about binary numbers. And we will also talk about uh, the finiteness of computing. So whatever we try to do on a computer, there is a limit on what we can do and we will uh, understand that limit uh, uh, in, in its proper perspective as we uh, proceed in this module. So what, what is a binary number? So, so we have actually seen some decimal numbers in the, so if I say 265, what does it mean? This is a, what we call as a positional representation. So every digit has a value based on this, on its position, right? So there are three digits here, the two which is called the most significant digit. It is called most significant because it the, con, the, the contribution of 2 to the entire value 265 is the largest. So 2 contributes 200 to the 265. So that is why it is called the most significant digit. So this is 2 into 10 power 2 plus 6 into 10 power 1 plus 5 into 10 power 0 and that is why that is how this is 2 into 100 plus 6 into 10 plus 5 into 1 which gives you the 265. So this 5 is called the least significant digit because it contributes the least. So the contribution of 5 to 265 is just 5 while the contribution of 2 to 265 is 200. So so similar, so this is the decimal representation or base 10 representation. I am sure you would have read this earlier many times. It is called decimal because every, uh, every digit is multiplied by a power of 10 as we see here. Now what is binary representation? Binary representation is that these digits will be multiplied by a power of 2. If I multiply, if I go to a decimal representation, we will have 10 digits namely 0, 1, 2 to 9. Now a binary representation will have only 2 digits namely 0 and 1 because if everything else is going to be represented as a power of 2. The 0 and 1 are called bits, right? 0 to 9 are called digits in de decimal representation, 0 and 1 are called bits in binary representation. So if I say 0, 1, 0, 0, what is its uh, uh, decimal representation? What is the value this will give in decimal arithmetic? This is nothing but 0 into 2 power 0 plus 0 into 2 power 1 plus 1 into 2 power 2 plus 0 into 2 power 3. Why are we multiplying by power of 2? Because it is a binary representation. This will give me 0 plus 4 plus 0 plus 0 which is nothing but 4 to the base 10. Right? So this is the decimal to uh, binary. Okay? <coughs> or binary to decimal conversion. Now let us go and do the next step. We will now talk about adding uh, to binary numbers. So 
So, how do you add 2 decimal numbers? Suppose 75 plus 86, I add the first two, 2 digits 5 plus 6 is 11, so, then I take a carry here, add this here, so this I get 161. So, I, I, I add the first two, 2 digits, get a sum digit, this is called the sum, sum is 1 and the carry is 1, 5 plus 6 is 11, 1 is sum and 1 is carry. Now, that carry I add with 178 to get uh, 16. So, this 6 is again a sum and the another one is carry since there is no, these are all zeros, this will become 1 and you end with 161. Similarly, in binary also we will add, suppose, so I will be adding bits like how I added 2 digits here, I will be adding bits and at most how many digits did I add here, I added 3 digits here, right 1 plus 7 plus 8. So, similarly, I will be also adding at most 3 bits in binary when we do that. So, let me say 0 1 1 plus 1 0 1. So, what is 0 1 1? Let us do this 1 into 2 power 0 plus 1 into 2 power 1 plus 0 into 2 power 2 which is nothing but 2 plus 1 equal to 3. This is 1 into 2 power 2 plus 0 into 2 power 1 plus 1 into 2 power 0. Uh, this is nothing but 4 plus 1 equal to 5. So, totally I have to get 8. Now, let us do this 1 plus 1, right? It is going to give me 2, which is 0, 1. Note that 2 is 1, 0 in binary. 2 to the base 10 is 1, 0 to the base 2. Right? This is 1 into 2 power 1 plus 0 into 2 power 0 is 2. So, when I add 1 plus 1, I get 1 0 which is equivalent to 2. Now, again I add 1 plus 1 plus 0 which is again 2, 1 plus 1 is 2 which is again 0 and 1. I add 1 plus 1 which is again 2, so I get 0, the ca extra carry is 1 here which comes in. So, the answer is 1 0 0 0. What is 1 0 0 0? So, 1 into 2 power 3 plus 0 into 2 power 2 plus 0 into 2 power 1 plus 0 into 2 power 0 which is nothing but 8 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0. So, which gives you 8. So, this is how we add 2 binary numbers. <coughs> now, we need to have one understanding here. Suppose, my computer, the computer stores, the computer as we see in the uh, gates, the computer cannot recognize anything other than binary, because the entire computer is working using transistors as we have seen in module 1. And what will the transistor understand? And everything that we did, the gates we did, right, were basically switching on a transistor or switching off a transistor. So, basically the transistor can understand only 0 or 1s. So, all the operations that are going to be executed by the hardware has to be using 0 or 1s. That is why we, we are not using a decimal system, all the things that we are trying to do, we are doing it using a binary system. Why are we using the binary system? Because the computer can understand only 0s and 1s as we had explained in the module 1. So, all our arithmetic will be done using zeros and 1s. Now, how many bits, so these zeros and 1s are called bits as I had mentioned, how many bits a, a computer can store? Right? So, for example, if the computer can store only 3 bit numbers, a computer obviously cannot store an infinite bit number. For example, the 0 1 1 that you are seeing here which I am marking in uh, green here, the 0 1 1 is a 3 bit number, 1 0 1 is a 3 bit number, 1 0 0 0 is a 4 bit number. The computer cannot store infinite bits, so the, there is a limit on the number of bits a computer can store or handle. If the computer can handle only 3 bits at a time, then what happens? This 011 is a 3 bit number, 
101 is a 3 bit number, 1000 is a 4 bit number. If the computer can only handle 3 bits at a time for a number, then 1000 cannot be stored in the computer. One zero 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 cannot be stored in the system because your system can store only up to three bits. So this particular addition has resulted in what we call as a overflow. This system, this particular addition, has caused a overflow because it has created an integer. It has resulted in an integer which cannot be representable by 3 bits and the computer today the, in this context is represent, can represent only numbers with 3 bits. Now the uh, answer of this addition has resulted in a 4 bit number and obviously this has resulted in a overflow. Right? So what we have learnt in, in this particular uh, module is that we have uh, basically taken uh, the binary representation and we have looked at the addition of two binary numbers and importantly we have understood what you mean by the finiteness in the representation of a system. In this case this finiteness has indeed resulted in a overflow for this particular addition. Now uh, in the next module that is 2.2 we will start looking at uh, the signed binary number representation. Thank you.